no charge cards, no television, no movies, no phone calls, no food. <laughs> sir, permission to beg, sir? What? I'm deeply, deeply sorry about the unfortunate stripping incident. I just want to say it's all his fault. What? <laughs> Look, come on, Uncle Phil. I mean, I I'm sure you did something like this when you were a kid. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I think you two owe Hillary an apology. Your behavior tonight cost her an invitation to join the Diamond League and meet some nice young men, and you know how much that meant to me. <laughs> I mean her. It's okay, Daddy. The more time I spent with those women, the more I realized they're not my kind of people. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. <laughs> Mrs. De Winter. Hillary, darling, why did you run off like that? I wanted to invite you to join the Diamond League. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Switching entertainment like that, what an outrageous idea. Say, my mother's turning 90. Are they available for birthday parties? <laughs> I guess I'll just be... Sit! I'm not through with you two yet. I want to know what excuse you have for pulling such a stupid stunt. We needed the money. For what? And I want the truth. All right, it's like this, Uncle Phil. See, Carlton got this inside tip on a stop. Federal offense. Go on. <laughs> Then, then we pawned Aunt Viv's bracelet to get the money for the stock. Grand larceny, impressive. <laughs> and then we lost the money, so we had to strip to get the bracelet back. That would be indecent exposure. Is there more? I'm afraid so, Dad. We never got the clasp fixed on Mom's bracelet. <laughs> you never got the... <laughs> and you do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what do you boys think I should do? <laughs> I, I don't know. Reward us for our honesty? <laughs> Hey, hey, it worked for the bead. <laughs> Do I look like a white guy named Ward? Now you get that bracelet back, and for the next six weeks, I don't want to hear you breathe. Or I'm calling the feds myself. I guess this probably ain't the best time to tell them we ran over the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs>